What um what's one of the craziest scenarios you've ever seen that hasn't been publicized as far as like attacks on street vendors? Cuz you know the shit happens every day and not yeah. everything hits the news, you know what I mean? Been saying? happening actually. Mm, damn, off the top of my head, there's a lot of vendors that don't call the cops that get attacked all the time. Um well there's one right now in South Central, um Armando, uh he's Guatemalan, he was selling with his wife. They recently, last month, they got pistol whipped twice in a uh, week by the same kids, eight year old from eight years old to fifteen. Like these little kids, bro. Like little kids come, pull up on them with straps, with lasers, and, and pistol whipped him and his wife. And it's, it's, that's shit heartbreaking. And they didn't catch a lot of flame online because it wasn't caught on video. If you don't mind me asking, what nationality are these children? African American. These little kids, man. And so my next question for that is, is um. Again, obviously, there's a lot of notoriety on African-American people attacking the street vendors. But uh, do you know what the stat is? If it's like, is it like 50 percent, 50 percent? Like, is it 50 percent Rasa attacking them or, and blacks? Or is it like, is it, you know what I mean? Like, is most of the people getting attacked African or they're, the people that are attacking the street vendors? I'll be honest with you. At the beginning, when I got involved helping street vendors, I thought it was mostly African-American. That's what I thought. To be honest with you. Because that's what's always and, getting um, publicized, of course. Yeah, but I'm, I've am i been shocked, bro. Like Don Ignacio, 64 years old, stabbed eight times by a Mexican. Oh. You know what I'm saying? We've we've had other others. But at the same time, at the same time, like I, I, I appreciate when black leaders come up and denounce these attacks because that's needed. Absolutely. That is happening. Because yeah. that shit is happening. Because I think the difference is, you know, when, when, you know, when we were in the hood, we wouldn't do that. I don't think we, you know. No, Absolutely not. Hell nah, that. we so, protected the pilot. They don't like, all that. When you have these kids and they look at them, they're like, oh, they're not our race. You know, f it. You know, let's just f do it. You know? Yeah. And I think that's when they take it to a different, to a whole higher level. That's why it's needed for our, our um, you know, our adults, our leaders, black leaders to go out there and educate these kids too. Because if if one of us does that shit, then we're going to take care of it. You know what I'm saying? And we have in the past. Yeah. yeah. But you didn't necessarily answer me, though. Is there? Do you know what the stat is? If it's more homies or if it's more blacks that, that attack street vendors? Uh, from what I've seen, it's, like I said, at the beginning, I thought it was mostly mostly what, what the news says. But it's it's been, it's been kind of like, I don't know, 60, 50, 50, 60, 40 around there. These fools.